So hey guys, welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a wonderful Sunday afternoon. It is Super Bowl Sunday. Woo! <laughs> Whatever, right? Isn't it sad? It really is sad. It really is sad. So uh, I'm going to be closing down the barn here in just a minute. I thought I would make a quick video for you on this Sunday afternoon. I'm making a homemade chicken pot pie, baby. I've already got it prepped, ready to go. Yummy, yummy. And tonight during the Super Bowl, I am not going to be focusing on the Super Bowl, but I am going to be focusing on genealogy. I'm on a big roll right now. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So many good things this week, in the past two weeks. So I'm, I, I slated the time. So we worked our little buns off this afternoon, got the basement cleaned up. I actually washed my hair. It looks a little frizzy, whatever. Who cares? <laughs> Who cares, right? Um, so closing down the barn early and uh, going to try to relax this evening. I will admit to you, though, I think this is a conversation we need to have on this Super Bowl Sunday. Gee, well, let's first, uh, I grew up watching the Super Bowl and loving the Super Bowl. And I didn't grow up in a household that was necessarily like a huge NFL fanatic family about any, one way or another. But, I mean, we all had our time periods where we loved the Bears. Oh, my gosh. Better step off. And then, of course, the Cowboys. I always wanted to be a Dallas Cowgirl. I did. I wanted to be a Dallas Cowgirl as a little girl. You know, the days when we watched Daisy Duke and we thought she was just so pretty and then the, the Dallas Cowgirls were so awesome. I mean, I'm a product of the 80s, y'all. I actually was... I was actually born in the 70s, but I mean, you know, my memory really goes into the 80s, and we loved the NFL, and especially uh, going into, uh, up until just, you know, what, 10, 20 years ago, or something like that, it all just sort of getting, it just started turning weird, and it's been weird, but here is, I want to say this, so I don't know if you've caught on to this, um, I really try to not watch a whole lot of television, I, I, I'm curious about certain things from time to time, but I really, time is more of my issue, but I will tell you, I will admit to you, follow me with this. Here's what I'm saying. If you were to watch the Super Bowl tonight for any reason, now I know some of you out there are just going to watch it because you love football. Some of you are going to watch it because you, you know, you love a particular team. Okay, whatever. I don't think my audience here is going to be too, um, <laughs> too involved in worrying about whether or not Taylor Swift makes it to the Super Bowl or not. I mean, gosh, think about all the uh, pollution she's done with those airplanes going all over the, wasn't she like flying back from, from a tour? Was she like in Japan or something? Did I see that on Instagram? I don't know. Gosh, what are we going to do about her? I hope she didn't eat a steak on the plane. But I'm not really concerned about all that because we all know that's a bunch of shenanigans anyway. But here's what I do think is interesting because I picked up on this with the Grammys. Okay. Now, last year, we know what the Grammys turned into. Uh, it was like a satanic ritual fest right there on the stage. And really, if we dissect a lot of these things... All the uh, you know, most of the time now, that's pretty much all what they all are. Okay, I mean, honestly, you can't enjoy these things anymore because I mean, remember the days where you just watched football and man, you just wanted a really good halftime show. You didn't have something just like crammed in your face and jammed down your throat, and you weren't. It didn't. You just enjoyed the evening with family and friends or whatever. Well, we know it's really not that way that much anymore. So, but here's the thing. You can do some detective work, I think. I think you're going to be able to tell a lot of things by watching these shows right now because they have toned it down, I think. Now, I haven't watched all of these shows lately, um, and, and, and if I have caught, I, you know, I may have caught like 15 minutes here or 10 minutes there. The Grammys this year I did, and I thought, Wow. Now, what little bits I saw, and I know there was one or two things that was kind of silly, like with Jay-Z or whatever, but what do you expect from that? Um, whatever. I mean, you're going to have something. But overall, I just thought, wow, people are just not as naked. And it was so funny because, listen to this, please laugh. So I was talking about this with my mom earlier on the phone because she called and whatever. I was actually having the family over tonight. Not to necessarily watch the Super Bowl, but actually to, for us to have family time together. We've got a birthday coming up this week. And uh, I was actually supposed to go to Murphy yesterday, North Carolina, and meet Lou. And then tonight, I was making homemade um, 
chili with Indian tacos, and I was going to have my Nana over, you know, get her out, get her come over. She loves to come to the farm. So I've planned this for two weeks. Well, my husband's not feeling good, and um, he's okay, and I am granny witching him like you've never seen. If you don't know what granny witching is, you need to look that up. I'm not a witch. <laughs> not on most days, but some days I could be. Just kid, no, he we are uh, really, really, really um, taking a lot of things right now. Uh, Granny Witch and doing a lot of natural things. Uh, he's doing okay, um, but he's relaxing on the couch right now. And uh, so, anyway, I had to cancel all of this tonight and yesterday. I'm so bummed, but he can't help it. So, pray I don't get sick. Please pray. But so, my mom called, was checking on James and checking in with everybody or whatever. And what's so funny is I said, I said, are you going to watch the Super Bowl? She said, I ain't going to watch that. You know I ain't going to watch that stuff. And she doesn't watch it. And I said, well, I'm kind of curious if they're going to get out there and show out. She's, I said, you, did you, I said, mom, did you watch the Grammys this year? And she said, I watched a little bit of it. And she said, I, she said, you know what? She said, I didn't see Sam Smith and Satan out there dancing around this year. They sure are changing their tune. See? So this is what I'm saying. There are things going on in front of you and in front of me right now uh, with lots of different media outlets, uh, what they are talking about, um, how certain um, celebrities are changing how they look. They're toning it. I mean, they're still, you know, doing their thing, but they are trying to be a little bit more sub subdued. Um, covered up. I mean, at the Grammys, was it at the Grammys? Christina, Christina Aguilera, that's the best I've ever seen that woman look. I mean, I know she's full of plastic. I get that, but that's the bet. And clearly she's lost a lot of weight. We all know how all these people are losing weight. We know that firsthand here at that house. We know all about Ozempic. Okay. By the way, I just want to say this. My husband has fully come off of lots of medications, including Ozempic. And if you are taking Ozempic, you better be looking into that. I just want to tell you that right now. You might not want to be taking that. There is no cheat, guys. I mean, there really isn't. It's, it has to be exercise, diet, and doing the things that you can. Uh, there's no cheats. Obviously, uh, med there are certain medications people have to take. But you have to do what you have to do. But I'm just saying, we all know why all these people are skinny. You ain't losing 90 pounds because you decided to start eating carrots. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think so, sweetheart. I don't think so. Come on. People were covered up more you know, thanking Jesus and, and being sweet and, you know, singing songs together. I, I just was like, I'm not biting on this. Now, I don't think every single person that was at the Grammys this year is horrific. I'm, I, so don't take me the wrong way, but the tone is different. So here's what I'm saying. If you watch tonight, what's it going to be like? I mean, it starts here in what, two hours or something like that. But I'm filming this video right now, like six o'clock, six, I don't know, usually between six, six thirty. I don't even know. <laughs> I'm just guessing. Um, but I mean, it is interesting. I want you to see who's singing the national anthem. I mean, y'all know her stance on a couple of things lately, right? And I used to be the biggest, biggest Reba McIntyre fan on the planet, y'all, growing up. I did. I think I sang every one of her songs. I won county fairs. I won the University of Tennessee <laughs> and the Tennessee Valley Fair contest, uh, uh, you know, lead up singing one of her songs. I mean, it, you know, it's just whatever. But I'm just saying that that's the world we grew up in with all these singers and all these celebrities. And, you know, we had all these role models and we had all these things. Well, we know they've changed their tune in a lot of ways, very hardcore in recent years. But suddenly... Not so much. And then we see people that we've admired in the past endorsing a lot of woke companies. So I'm just saying there is a, I call it a, I call it a lick over. <laughs> I know that sounds gross, but if you've ever been in a field and, a, you know, and a calf is, you know, ha throwing a little bit of a hissy fit or got separated from its mama or whatever, what does mama cow do? She comes over and she's licking her calf over. That's what they're doing. So you can call this uh, programming, if you will. We're in an election year. So don't watch the Super Bowl if it goes against what you want to do. I'm not, I'm not trying to suggest that you should. But I have to say, even my own mama was like, it's going to be interesting to see what they do tonight, though. Because we'll hear about it tomorrow. 
So this is what they're doing to the public. This is what they've been, and a lot of you are going to say this, come back and just light up the comments and say, they've been doing this for years. You're right. We just didn't, we just didn't know it. We just didn't know what they were doing. And I think a lot of us are, are so awake now that we can actually predict it before it happens. But it is interesting to watch, to see what type of programming are you actually going to get. Is it really, truly about the football game? It should be. It should be about game, the game and hopefully some positive role models. But, okay, but... It's going to be interesting. So that's my take on it. Don't watch it. I totally agree with that. If you're curious enough, I can see why you would. If you don't care and you're going to do your thing, I don't care either because it's not my business. But I am saying they're using a lot of different things right now to manipulate the minds of the public because they have to because it's an election year. And even though it is an election year, Regardless of what they do and how they manipulate things for the rest of the year, again, they have to lick people over to keep you asleep, to keep me asleep, to try to keep us asleep, to think that everything is getting better, is calmer, is patriotic, is all Americana. It's just like the good old days. Oh, say, can you see? I mean... They're going to pour it on thick, real thick. I think I may be surprised. You never know what you're going to get these days because it's certainly like a box of chocolates. Like, subscribe, and share if you like the video, guys. I appreciate you hanging out with me right now. I'm going to go out here and get in the mud. I'm not going to look like this in about five minutes. So that's why I filmed it before I got out here because it's so muddy. I hope you have a great evening. I hope you do something you love. I'm going to relax with a chicken pot pie. Mm -hmm. and a cupcake. I am. And some good old-fashioned genealogy. And if I get nosy enough, I might glance over there. Because I think it's interesting to see what's playing out before us. But at the end of the day, remember, pray, prepare, be peaceful. Keep watching. Like, subscribe, and share. I love you so much. God bless, Godspeed, and guys, I'll see you on the next video.